for joining Billy Hicks with CivilianGuns.com on a segment of Show Your Guns. We are here with my friend Kristen who graciously allowed us to come into her home um, and is going to share with us uh, her new experiences with firearms. Um, can you just tell us a little bit about yourself? What do you do for a living? What, what do you do here? Well, I'm retired. I worked at a medical facility for 20 years and I was diagnosed with lupus in my early 20s so that is why I am currently home. I take care of my husband and his business. He's a heavy equipment mechanic and um, he's very busy so I just kind of hang out around the house. I spend a lot of time home by myself. So I've got three dogs. I work on, I help take care of the ranch, help take care of his business. Three dogs, two of them excellent hunters. The other one thinks he's a hunter more of a protector. <laughs> protector. Yeah. I'm babysitting. So it's two actually. labs and a Britney Spanner. Yeah. yeah. Correct? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay. Um, well, basically, the, the, the surprise that her husband gave her on um, Christmas was a new firearm. Um, she has, you want to go ahead and hold it up for everybody to see, kind of hold it out there, a Smith & Wesson 22 Magnum Airsoft revolver. Air light. Air light. Apologize. It's okay. Thank you, doll. See? You are welcome. I'm getting on my gun. Maybe th there you go. <laughs> and actually, to be honest with you, this is the first time that I've actually come across this gun. I know that sounds crazy, but I am not big into revolvers. You know, I haven't <clears throat> had a lot of experience with revolvers. Yes. So she let me play with it. I got to feel the trigger. Got to play with it a little bit, you know, dry yeah. shooting. Mm -hmm. Always a good thing. Yeah. Um, it is seven. Oh, yes. Also, it is a seven shot. It is very cool. comfortable in your hand. It's got the Hogue grips. Okay. Very nice. Would you like to hold it, let my dear? Let me see. Let me see. Feel how lovely, comfortable it is in your yes. hand. Yes. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Like, yes, you may. <laughs> you may. It's light. Yeah. It's pretty accurate, believe it or not, for a small gun as it is. Mm -hmm. Well, and actually, the truth of the matter, I love the little extras that are put on mm -hmm. our guns when we get them. And this actually has the night sights on it, which is really nice. Mm -hmm. This gun, did you say it was like, uh, it runs at like 70, 785, I think, $785. Um, if you are curious about it or interested, and any of these kind of firearms that we're going to be sharing with you can always go to civiliangums.com and we will direct you in the right direction um, of where to go and to purchase this firearm. Um, also, we're going to talk about the ammo that she uses. Do you want to talk about it or do you want me to say? <laughs> it's the Winchester, uh, the 22 Winchester Magnum, the full metal jacket. Um, it's 40 grain, correct? Correct. I want to say 40 grain. Um, one thing that I always question, and we were just talking about this, um, do you know what the Magnum means? Because I was always like, well, I don't get why they call it Magnum. What Magnum is, is the length, the, the length of the bullet is longer than your typical shell, you know, shotgun shell, or shotgun shell. What? <laughs> your typical bullet. Let's get that right. Okay. Um, also, we discussed the importance of gun safety to lock. That's Actually, not lock. little. That's a big lock. Well, yes, it's a big lock. It's a hefty, strong lock um, with their firearms and a set of keys to go with that lock. And it's extremely important as being a gun owner mm -hmm. to be a responsible gun owner, meaning that you need to always keep your ammunition and your firearms locked separately at all times. Your keys, I always have like a, nobody knows where my keys are. You know, I have a good little hiding spot and I'm not going to tell you. All oh, girls have hiding spots. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Um, she and her husband do not have any children. They have their dogs and I don't think they're too concerned about their dog running and grabbing and holding their pistol and mm -hmm. shooting the other dog, right? Right. <laughs> um, so, do you keep a firearm out? Yes, we do. We do keep one in our bedroom. Okay. Uh, and that is, you feel, for the purpose of what? My safety. I spend okay. a lot of time on the ranch by myself, and my safety is important. That's why my husband bought me this gun. 
um, with the intention of me taking the CCW class to get my permit. And That's great. That is a good thing. He wants my. He wants me to be safe, and you know, sometimes I'll take the dogs for a walk, and I'm walking down the road, and you know, some crazy people are out there. You know, you really yeah. gotta. I, I completely Assess agree. Assess the situation first, though. There you go. <laughs> I agree. But, you I know, agree. I don't want to, I want to be able to protect myself. Have that option if exactly. that's needed. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. That is another thing. Um, I hope you will follow, uh, follow us because we're going to have a segment on Kristen again from the beginning to the end of her journey of trial and tribulations mm -hmm. of trying to get her CCW here in California. Not as easy as not easy at all actually um, so I hope you will join us and see the struggles that uh, she goes through and I'll be there you know She's to help her me. along but um, encouragement encouragement I just want to show everybody you know how hard it is to get something that is so important I think for everybody to have and it's gun safety if you have it, you, what am I trying to say? So if you have a firearm and are responsible with your firearm, you know, you, you do follow gun safety, you do follow those rules, you're, you're a law-abiding citizen, I believe that everybody should have that right Absolutely. to protect their lives. So Life is precious. It really is. It really, really is. Well, thank you, Kristen, for joining and sharing with all the viewers. Thank you. And uh, I hope you guys will be back for our next segment. Um, and hopefully you'll see me with my CCW. That's right. <laughs> and I doubt it. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. It's going to be a little while, but you'll see, the, you'll see the steps. You know, we'll do shorter segments that, you know, so it's not like this long drawn out thing for you guys. But um, and we'll let you know when the party is. <laughs> the celebration. That's right. All firearms will be locked in the boxes. Ammo separate, right? Absolutely. Can't Absolutely. drink and shoot at the same time. Right. That takes away what we're talking about. Um, any, anyway, um, Civilian Gun thanks you very much, and we will see you soon. Take care. Bye. <laughs> okay.